Hello, it's the pageant nerd here with part two of my look at the two behemoths of international pageantry, Miss World and Miss Universe. In part one, I covered the rich history of these pageants, and today I'm looking at the countries with the most success at them. Before we do that, I'm going to briefly pick up where I left off in part one after a suggestion from viewer John San Diego. He wanted to see the overall placement success rate of host nations at both pageants, not just those who actually won. For Miss World, the first 38 editions were held in the UK, and interestingly, after a first runner-up finish in the inaugural pageant in 1951, the United Kingdom went unplaced in the next six contests, the only times in that original period they didn't make the first cut. Since 1989, when Miss World started to be held overseas, the host nation has placed 71% of the time. On nine occasions, the host failed to place in that period, most recently Poland in 2006. Heading over to Miss Universe, where the USA hosted the first 20 pageants, the only time they failed to place in that stretch was 1957, when Leona Gage was stripped of her newly won Miss USA title and disqualified from Miss Universe, after it was discovered she was a married mother of two. Miss Universe has ventured the globe since 1972, and in the 48 pageants held since then, the host country has placed 70% of the time, with 14 non-placements in that period. They include the USA in 2010, its only time not to qualify in 36 times as host, and most recently Russia in 2013. And finally, Miss Mexico. One of the most infamous non-placements of a host delegate was at Miss Universe 1993, when Angelina Gonzalez failed to make the top 10, causing uproar in the Mexico City crowd. To watch over our 10 semi-finalists as we begin the catalyst swimsuit competition. Much loved Miss Universe host Dick Clark never hosted the pageant again. Thanks for the idea, John. Now, let's get straight to it. In all, 34 different nations have triumphed at Miss Universe. That includes Panama and Russia, both classified as Miss Universes for 2002, with the former replacing the latter after Oksana Fedorova was dethroned for not adequately performing her duties. By comparison, 37 different nations have triumphed at Miss World. Similarly, that includes Guam, which replaced two-time winner Germany after 1980's initial winner resigned. More on that a little later. Looking at the titles leaderboard of both pageants, there are some familiar countries featuring at the top of the lists. Throw all the winning countries together, and 49 different nations have won either crown at least once. Of those 49 nations, 22 have won both titles at least once, and just 7 have won multiple titles at both Miss World and Miss Universe. I'm now going to count down the nations with five or more combined crowns. Here we go!
As I've covered in previous Paget Node videos, Miss Universe waited more than half a century to see its first back-to-back -back victories by the same nation. Venezuela was the first and so far only country to do so in 2008 and 2009, with Diana Mendoza and Estefania Fernandez earning a Guinness World Record with their consecutive crowns, 57 years after the first Miss Universe pageant. By contrast, Miss World got that record out of the way at the earliest opportunity after just their second pageant, with Sweden's May Louise Flodin emulating compatriot and inaugural queen Kiki Harkinson to win the 1952 pageant. Miss World has had back-to-back -back victories on two other occasions, with the United Kingdom's Anne Sidney and Leslie Langley winning consecutive crowns in 1964 and 65 respectively. 35 years later, India repeated the feat, an historic event all the more momentous and bittersweet because Miss World 1999, won by Yukta Muki, was contest founder Eric Morley's final pageant before his passing in November 2000. That was a mere three weeks before the millennium Miss World when Priyanka Chopra was crowned. That's left widow Julia Morley to assume control of the pageant and to utter the most famous of Miss World phrases. I will announce the results in reverse order. For the 68 years both Miss World and Miss Universe have been in existence, one country has collected both crowns in the same year on five occasions. France was the first to achieve the feat in 1953, when Christiane Martel captured the Miss Universe crown and then Denise Perrier matched her at Miss World three months later. My research seemingly uncovered quite a startling fact. Any pageant super experts out there, please correct me if I'm wrong. But as far as I can see, Martel and Perrier only competed in and subsequently won their respective international pageants because the actual Miss France of 1953, Sylviane Carpentier, chose to relinquish her title to get married. How's that for fate? Australia was next in 1972. Live footage of Kerry Ann Wells' crowning at Miss Universe in Puerto Rico was cut off by striking electricians just as she was announced the winner. Thankfully, other footage of the coronation was later found. Four months later, Belinda Green triumphed at Miss World, the same year the USA was represented by Linda Carter, who'd go on to become TV's Wonder Woman three years later. The next three Miss World, Miss Universe double crowns were all the more remarkable, as both winners emerged from the same national pageant in their respective years. And there's technically a fourth, which I'll get to shortly. The 1981 Miss Venezuela pageant produced Irene Saez, who'd go on to win Miss Universe in New York City, and Pilin Leon, who conquered the Miss World title in London. Notice how back in those days, Gowns worn to win national pageants were often recycled for the international competition. Here are some other examples. India followed with a sort of double-double crown in just a seven-year span. Their national pageant, producing arguably two of the strongest duos in all of pageantry and some of the most famous beauty queens in history. In 1994, Sushmita Sen edged out Ashwarya Rai at Femina Miss India and both would taste international glory. Congratulations Miss India, Sushmita Sen, you are the new Miss Universe. Sen scoring India's first Miss Universe title and Rai taking its second Miss World crown. 1994 is Miss India. At the turn of the millennium, Femina Miss India did it again, with Lara Dutta taking the national crown over Priyanka Chopra. Just as their countrywomen had done only six years earlier, both queens repeated the dose internationally. Dutta winning Miss Universe 2000 in Cyprus. Venezuela! And the new Miss Universe 2000 is India! And as you saw earlier, 
Chopra completed an Indian back-to-back at Miss World, later becoming a Bollywood, then Hollywood star. In recent years, Sen and Dutta have played a part in selecting and mentoring Indian representatives for Miss Universe. India's double-double crown bookended what was truly an unprecedented run of success, especially at Miss World. Four of those crowns within a seven-year span, something no other country has come close to at either pageant, with the possible exception of Venezuela's three crowns and four first runners-up at Miss Universe between 1996 and 2009. While we're on the topic of Venezuela, their 1995 national pageant also produced a Miss World and a Miss Universe, albeit in different calendar years. Jacqueline Aguilera winning Miss World 1995, and Alicia Machado capturing the 1996 Miss Universe crown. From 1991 to 2017, Miss Venezuela competed in the following year's Miss Universe. The Philippines almost had a double crown in 1973 in a scandal-riddled period for Miss World. More on that in my next segment. Not all victories at Miss World and Miss Universe have fairy tale endings. Officially, there have been two resignations at Miss World and one dethronement at Miss Universe. On each occasion, the original winner was replaced by their first runner-up. Unofficially, a few other queens didn't complete their reigns for a variety of reasons, but in those cases they weren't succeeded, so for the record books they were the lone title holder for the full year. I'm going to cover both the official and unofficial dethronements, so let's do this chronologically as it'll be easier to follow. The very first Miss Universe, Finland's Armi Kusala, gave up her 1952 crown less than three months before she was set to pass it on, so she could marry Filipino businessman Virgilio Hilario. Their whirlwind romance was the subject of a film called Now and Forever, starring the lovebirds themselves. Have you met Miss Universe? No, I haven't had the pleasure. They had five children together and remained married until Hilario's death in 1975. The 1970s were an especially turbulent period in pageantry. Miss World 1971, Brazil's Lucia Petale gave up her crown so she could return to her medical studies, although the first runner-up from the UK wasn't offered the title. In 1973, Marjorie Wallace won the USA's first Miss World crown, but she was stripped of it 104 days later after an affair with singer Tom Jones was uncovered. She was engaged to another man at the time. First runner-up, Evangeline Pasquale of the Philippines was asked to complete Wallace's reign but without the title or crown of Miss World. She refused, and second runner-up Miss Jamaica did it instead. Had Pasquale assumed the Miss World title, the Philippines would have held both major crowns in 1973, with Margarita Moran already reigning as Miss Universe. There's no regrets in life. If I did, we did our best during the night, and if that was given to us, that's fine. There are no regrets. We don't, we don't get, make regrets in life. We only celebrate what happens. In the most controversial single year for both pageants, neither Miss Universe nor Miss World completed their reigns in 1974. And for one fateful moment, both women in question were standing side by side. Amparo Muñoz became Spain's first and so far only Miss Universe, but six months into her reign and with homesickness set in, she refused to travel to Japan and subsequently gave up the crown. The first runner-up at Miss Universe 1974, Wales's Helen Morgan, wasn't offered the crown because she'd already gone on to win the Miss World title and then resigned just four days later following obscene media reports about her being an unwed mother. That wasn't against Miss World's rules at the time, but Morgan nonetheless bowed to pressure to resign. In the first time the Miss World was officially replaced, Annaline Creel of South Africa assumed the 1974 title from Morgan. Being a mother, however, was against Miss Universe's rules, so when Munoz gave up her crown in early 1975, neither Morgan nor any other runner-up in Manila was offered the title, which essentially remained vacant for six months. More on Helen Morgan in part three of this series. Just six years later, in 1980, Miss World was faced with another official resignation. 
Germany's Gabriela Brum, giving up the title she'd held for only 18 hours. In the contest, Miss Gabriela Brum has told us that she does not wish to hold the title of Miss World 1980. Initial reports suggested her boyfriend disapproved of her new job, but it later emerged the threat of nude photos being released forced her to quit. Kimberly Santos was crowned Miss World two weeks later in a special ceremony in her native Guam, becoming her country's only major title holder to this day, although they placed second at Miss Universe just two years later. Speaking of Miss Universe, its year of controversy was 2002, when as I mentioned earlier, Russia's Oksana Fedorova was stripped of her title four months into her reign for failing to perform the duties expected of her. Panama's Justine Pasek assumed the Miss Universe crown. You can check out this story in more detail in my series covering Miss Universe's biggest surprise victories. For the final part of this video, I'm taking a quick look at some of the more unlucky countries in Miss World and Miss Universe history. Four nations have placed first runner-up at both pageants without taking either title. They are Aruba at Miss Universe 1996 and Miss World 2001, Italy at Miss Universe 1987 and Miss World 2000, Denmark at Miss World 1957 and 86 and Miss Universe 1963, and Korea, which amazingly came second at both Miss Universe and Miss World in 1988, the same year they hosted the Seoul Summer Olympics. While they have two Miss Universe crowns to be proud of, Colombia has finished first runner-up another six times at that pageant and four times at Miss World, without a title to speak of. And finally, while the USA, original home of the Miss Universe pageant, has triumphed at Miss World, the same can't be said for Miss World originator Great Britain and Miss Universe. No British woman has held the Miss Universe crown. In the third and final part of this series, I'll take a look at the crossover contestants who've come the closest to succeeding at both Miss World and Miss Universe. While it's not possible for one woman to hold both titles, there are a few women that have come mightily close. If you enjoy this clip, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tell your pageant fan friends about me. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with part three, but it's bye for now from the pageant node.